All right, Coach, we are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Indianapolis Colts and the New York Jets. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Second down, Ryan. Over the middle, and it's caught. Brandon Marshall. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. Right back to him on first down. Oh, able to avoid him. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Second down. And Rudolph has it left side. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide it. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. And partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. And give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. From the shotgun, Ryan. Throwing for his running back, and he's got it complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. 
How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honed it in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script. However, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. Tackle made there by Haloti Nada. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Now Ryan, forced out to his left, and a big loss here as he's taken down. Taco Charlton in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Enough to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly... The momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And Old Mo is a very, very fickle man. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Well, that opening drive looked good for a moment there, but they'll wind up being turned away thanks to the missed field goal. It does especially hurt when you come into a game on the road. You're trying to get things to go your way early, and now you suffer a setback right out of the gate. Now a handoff looking right. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And Brandon, as we continue to see, so much of the influence on this game is now coming from those hybrid type players. In this case, strong safety, not worried about covering the pass. What a play on the run. Tackled for a loss. Yeah, forget the pregame introductions. Introduced himself with authority on that play. And down he'll go at the 25. How about that shuffle pass? Or if you want to call it the shovel pass, that's fine too. That's one of those plays that you take a little bit of risk there because you're trying to throw the ball into the middle of the field where a lot of big bodies lurk, and they can knock it away, pick it off, but they were able to execute it successfully on that play. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Now Breeze. And he fights still is complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Royce Freeman, the first carry for the rookie. He'll get about three as he's brought.